all right everyone thank you for coming back to my channel and you know i talk about a lot of bi bi tools etl tools and, and ml tools so today i'm going to talk about power bi which is one of the other bi tool in market and we know that power bi has gained a lot of market a lot of organizations are already using power bi so on my screen you see power bi console this is the screen you will see as soon as you open power bi and what we are going to do today is we are going to create a waterfall chart which is one of the critical chart in any organization so waterfall chart take an example during the start of the month, you get your salary credited, credited to your account and throughout the month you do some expenses and you may have some other additional incomes, the money may flow back into your account and at the end of the month, how much money is left in the account, you want to see step-by-step -step lineage, that is where you can use waterfall chart. And I know there are so many videos online already to talk about waterfall chart, but they, they, they don't show you how to create data for it because waterfall chart is something which you cannot create directly on the data. At times you may have to create data in a specific format which waterfall chart can consume. So the data which we are going to use today is that our regular household expense data, right? So if I open the data, this is what the data is. You will see it on my screen in a bit. All right, so this is the data you have first Jan 2023, you got your salary credited thousand, you know, thousand rupees. And then throughout the month, you are doing some expenses. There is a household expense, fuel expense, insurance payment, and then savings, which everything goes out from your account. And then there is another input to your account, which is rent received and then payment to household. So we want to see by the end of the month, how much salary, how much amount is left from all the input you have received in your account. So two things your salary credited and your rent received are some of the inputs to your account. These are credits to your account. Everything else is a debit to your account. So what is your overall credit? Your overall credit is 1000 plus 300. This is your overall credit 1300. And how much is your overall, uh, what do you say, your overall debit from the account? This is your overall debit, right? 700 and 200. So overall 900 is debited from your account and 1300 you got as credit to your account the amount left by end of the month is 400 so what we want we want to see a lineage of this entire calculation so one thing to remember is that when you create a, a waterfall chart you have to specify what are the positives what are the negatives so that finally you have the overall amount at the end of it so in our case the positives could be salary credited and rent received everything else will be negatives because those are the amounts which have gone out from your account so let's quickly go to power bi and how do you bring data so our data is in excel so we are going to bring this data from excel import data from excel data open so when you open your data you will see a console which is very much similar to your power query console when you bring any data so we are going to bring sheet one date expense type and amount we are not going to transform anything as of now we will just load it directly so our data is getting loaded the name it has given to data is sheet one we want to give it a better name we will give it expense in in place of sheet one so how can we do it on the right side you will see your data sheet one and it has three columns amount date and expense type let's rename it let's let's rename it to expense expense okay so we got our expense data set in now where is our waterfall this is where under visualizations you will see your waterfall chart let's bring our waterfall chart on the screen expand it to the full screen now the first thing it needs it is category right so we will bring category what is our category category is a dimension which will be used to break down your chart so our dimension is expense type remember if you don't have such a dimension which can be used to roll up your data to aggregate your data you will have to create one waterfall needs a specific type of data to to be created on top of it if it doesn't have right data you cannot create waterfall chart if you are trying to create waterfall chart you have any issues just give your query in the comments i will try to re resolve and answer those so we got our category as as expense type which is our dimension amount which is our measure i'll drag it and put it on y-axis there you go. We have our simple waterfall chart. It starts with salary credit, household expense, rent received, payment to household, house help, savings, fuel expense, and, and X, Y, Z things. But you will see at the end of the month, it is showing me 2200 sum of amount, but we wanted 400. 400 is our expected number, but we are getting here 2200. The reason is it is adding everything. In our data, if you go back to our data, everything is positive. That's why it is adding everything at the end of the month. It is giving me 2200. We don't want to add everything. Few things needs to be increased. Few things needs to be decreased to get to the final total amount. So let's see what things needs to be decreased and increased. Quickly, what we have to create is now we have to create a calculated dimension. So the right way to actually do is go on this screen, go to your data view. That's where you see your data. Click on new column. We want to create, create a new column. Now let's call this calculated Kelsey expense now here what we want to do is if expense type is salary creditor 
credited or rent received we want to call it amount else we want to change the sign else we, we want to make everything negative so what we will do if our expense type equals to double quotes salary credited salary credited or so this is the sign for or or expense type equals to rent received because these are two positive entries these are two credit entries in our account rent received then we want to call expense amount otherwise we want to add a negative sign in front of expense amount simple we'll call it kelsey expense okay so now we see our salary created is thousand everything else is negative you come back your entry received is 300 and then after that again you have a negative entry so we have created our data in such a way so that we can create a correct waterfall chart let's go back to our charts let's decrease the size of this chart copy paste this chart to the right side control c control v our regular copy paste friend now in place of sum of amount i'm going to bring some of kelsey expense so there you go now you have some reds and you have some greens and then you have total so let's see what is our total 400 our total is correct 400 is our total salary created rent received are in green and then insurance payment fuel expense and other things are in red red is everything which is subtracting in and green is everything which is adding to the overall number now the challenge i have is my data is not sorted it it looks like salary created and rent received are something which happened at the start of the month and everything happened after the uh, during the month but that's what that's not the case rent received is something we got as a second last entry into our expense statement so what we want to do we want to sort our data by date so how can you do it you drag your date let's put it on two tips then go to these three dots, go to sort axis and earlier state. Now in earlier state, sort by ascending. So you start now with salary credited, then you got your household expense of 350 and then there are other expenses. Then you've got your rent received, received payment to house help and this is your total, which is 400. Another interesting thing is you can always bring your data labels. You bring your data labels, you can read those numbers correctly. So now this is your, remember always you want to have a correct title. This is your expense. What you call this is expense walk of the month. This is your expense walk. All right, all right. So we, our chart is created. Next thing is you want to publish it to the server. This is where you go and publish it to your server. If your chart is, if your organization has a server, you publish it and you are done. You are, you've created a waterfall chart. Remember at some in instances, in some scenarios, you may not have correct kind of data to create the waterfall chart. So if you don't have the data, you, you have to create the data either using Power Query, or if you have SQL system in the background, you have to union and create your data sets. I have done it multiple times. So if you have any question, any doubt, just put, uh, put, put your questions in comments. I'll try to answer. Till that, happy learning. And next time, see you. Bye.